Hey guys, uh, I'm back with another question from September 20 M3 exam. Okay, so the question is the transform of cos n theta and sin n theta. Okay, so there is a straightforward way of doing this, and there is not so straightforward way of doing this. And we'll do that one because that is very short and easy. Okay, so what uh, whenever they they have given cos and sin in pair to find the transform. Okay, we should use the Euler's uh, formula. Okay, Euler's formula is so if I have e power i theta or e power i n theta, it can be written as cos n theta plus i sin n theta. Okay, so this is Euler's identity. Okay, so cos and sin, cos plus i sin is basically e power i theta. So whatever angle is here, that should be here. And the functions we need to find the transform of our cos and theta and sin theta, which are here, cos and theta and sin and theta are here. Okay. So now if I take z transform of this, what will I get? z transform of e power i and theta is equal to z transform of cos and theta plus i times z transform of sin and theta. Why did I do this? Because I know a power n's z transform, z transform of a power n is what? z over z minus a. Okay. And I can write e power i n theta, e power i n theta as e power i theta whole power n. Okay, if I take z transform of this now, what will I get? A in place of a I have e power i theta. So in place of a I should substitute z over z minus e power i theta. Okay, so I already got the z transform of the LHS. So in place of e power i theta, now I will substitute z over z minus, you know, what I know, what I know from Euler's identity, e power i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta, right? So e power i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta. Okay. So now what I need to do is, I need to split this in the form of a plus ib, or I need to convert this in the, in the form of a plus ib, so that I can compare real terms and real terms, which will be the transform of cos and theta, and the imaginary terms, which will be the transform of sin and theta. How do you do that? So the first step is z over z minus cos theta, right? Minus into plus minus cos theta, minus into my, minus into plus minus i sin theta. Okay. So z minus cos theta is the real term, sin theta is the imaginary term in the denominator. Whenever you have a complex number in the denominator, how do you convert that to numerator? We use rationalization. We need, we need to multiply and divide by the complex conjugate of this. So that will be, if I multiply z minus cos theta plus i sin theta, right? So this is a complex conjugate of the denominator. And again, I have z minus cos theta plus i sin theta. So what will I get now? In the denominator, I'll get z into z minus cos theta, in the numerator, z into z minus cos theta, plus i z into sin theta, z into sin theta. This is the numerator. In the denominator, what I will have? a minus ib or a minus b into a plus b. So if I consider this as a, this as b, this as a, this as b, I have a minus b into a plus b. This is, a, this is one of the earliest formulas you have learnt in algebra. a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square. So that will be z minus cos theta square minus i sin theta square. So I will write that as i square sin square theta. And I know i square is minus 1. Right. So this minus and this minus will become plus. So what will I have? z transform of e power i theta will be in the numerator I have z into z minus cos theta plus i times z sin theta. The denominator a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. Right. I have remaining terms is minus into minus plus sin square theta. Right. So cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. That's the trigonometric identity. So I can finally write this as z over z, z into z minus cos theta over the denominator I have z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. 
the center thing will become 1 plus i z sin theta over the same denominator that will be z square minus 2 z cos theta plus 1 okay so taking the z transform of e power i theta whole power n substituting i power e power i theta cos theta plus i sin theta and then using rationalization I brought this the result into a plus ib form because here also I have a plus ib. So if you compare these two, okay, what will you get? Z transform of cos n theta, cos n theta is equal to the real term. This is a real term in this uh, complex number. This is a real term in this complex number. So that will be z into z minus cos theta over z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 right and the i term and the i term are equal so that will be z transform of sin n theta sin n theta is equal to z sin theta over z square minus 2 z cos theta plus 1 the denominator of both the z transforms are same okay only the numerator changes uh, what is the regular way of doing this uh, straightforward way of doing this the same formula we'll use, okay. We know cos n theta, so this is different, okay. So cos n theta can be written as e power i n theta plus e power minus i n theta over 2, okay. And then take the transform and split this thing and then take the transform this and this, you will get the same answer, okay. And here also, using this method, uh, you can directly uh, uh, write the transform of the LHS convert that to a plus ib form and then compare real part to real part, imaginary part to imaginary part, you will get this and transform of cos n theta and sin n theta. So whenever you see cos and sin in pair and they have asked you to find the transform, use this method, okay.